Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about Zuni jewelry. It's beautiful work, but it's been made for a long, long time. In fact, it started being made about around the 1850s time frame. Now, this was when they first learned metal smithing. This was learned from the Spanish. By about 1872 was when we first see the real, uh, what we would call silversmith being made, and that was by the Navajos. The Navajos taught the Zunis at that point. And it was by 1918 we see the first silver work being done by Juan de Dios as well as by Horace Iuli. And this is noted by John Adair. And Adair was an ethnicist who was also very uh, interested in jewelry. In fact, one of the very first books on Navajo, Zuni, Hopi jewelry was done by Adair. So by 1920, we also note that there is starting to be some channel work. And again, De Dios was the man who was noted to do this, and this was noted by C.G. Wallace. Now, C.G. Wallace, who I'll talk about in another video, was a very interesting guy. He was a trader who started in, uh, first in Rama in 1918. Uh, he was working for the Ilfeld Company. And within a year or so, he got his license, and by 1919, he was already up at Zuni and working with Zuni. Now, often we think of Zuni, we think of pottery and fetish, but we really should also think about their, about their uh, jewelry. And C.G. Wallace was one of those individuals that really helped push that art form forward. C.G. Wallace opened his own place by 1928, uh, the C.G. Wallace Trading Post, and by that time, we really started to see much more Zuni jewelry being made. In fact, that same year, in 1928, was the first silver knife wing god that we see being made by uh, uh, Horace Iuli. That is an image that you see when you think of knife wing gods, you think of Zuni. Zuni jewelry was produced in the 1940s. They started making petty point, you start seeing uh, cluster bracelets. We know that some of this cluster work was being made as early as in the early late uh, 20s at C.G. Wallace because we know Horace Iuli was making these things for him. When you think of Zuni jewelry, one of the things you want to think of is petty point and needle point. It can be confused for Navajo jewelry. In fact, how I look at it is if it's very fine work, we often think of Zuni jewelry. If it's a little heavier work, we think of Navajo. Some of the examples that I'm showing you will kind of display which are Navajo, which are Zuni. Really, they're both about the same value, but I always think that the Zuni work is very fine. Also, I love their channel work. So if you'd like to learn more about Zuni jewelry, you can go to my website, medicinemangallery.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Medicine Man Gallery, located for over 26 years in Tucson, Arizona, specializing in antique Native American art, early Western art, including the famed Maynard Dixon, as well as modern art. You can find everything online at medicinemangallery.com. There's over 6,000 objects to select from. Also, the Charles Bloom Murder Mystery Series, written by yours truly, me, Mark Sublett. There's six books in this series, and they follow the protagonist Charles Bloom through all the intrigue of the art world set in Santa Fe and the Navajo Nation. These can be found on Audible, eBooks, Amazon, and of course, the gallery at medicinemangallery.com.